In this tutorial, we're going to explore how we connect the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus in various configurations. To power your iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, simply take the supplied power adapter and connect it to the back of the device into the power slot. This will power the device when you plug it into a power receptacle and is required for normal operation. Note that the particular look of your power adapter may differ from the one shown here. When we plug that in, you'll see the lights on the front of the box light up and flash once, and then the green power light remain on, which is the normal condition for operation. Once you've hooked up power to your iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, to connect an iPad, simply take the supplied 30 pin to USB B cable Plug one end into one of the ports on the front of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. In this case, I'm plugging in to port 1. And take the other end of the cable and plug it in to your iPad into the 30-pin connector. As you can see, the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus supplies power to your iPad and will keep it charged in normal use of the device. If you have an iPad that uses a lightning connector, like this iPad mini, you may introduce an Apple 30-pin to lightning adapter. This connects into the cable supplied by iConnectivity, and then into the lightning connector on your device. You'll see that this also keeps the iPad charged. To connect your iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to a Mac or a PC, simply use a USB A to B cable and plug the B end into the port 3 on the back of the device. Plug the A end into a free USB port on your Mac or PC. In addition to connecting iPads to your iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, you can also connect iPhones. In this case, I have an iPhone 4S which takes the iConnect MIDI 30-pin connector. Having connected that in, now I have an iPhone and an iPad connected to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. If you have an iPhone with a lightning adapter, like this iPhone 5C, you can also connect that to your iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, just as we did with the iPad Mini earlier, by using the Apple Lightning to 30-pin adapter. Now, I have two iPhones connected to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. To connect a multi-port USB hub to accommodate up to eight USB class compliant MIDI peripherals to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, make sure you have your hub powered and simply plug it in to the host port. You can then introduce a MIDI device like a keyboard and plug it into your hub. This will connect it to the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus and you can connect as many peripherals as you have ports up to a total of eight. Having attached our iDevices, whether iPads or iPhones or some combination to the ports on the front, and having connected our PC or Mac to the port on the back, and having hooked in our USB hub, to which are connected our USB class compliant MIDI peripherals to the port on the back, now we can connect up any of our DIN connected MIDI peripherals to any of the three ports on the front or the back. To use RTP MIDI, Plug in a network cable connected to a wireless hub or a router to the back of the device. You can also make DIN connections to an iPad using something like an iConnect MIDI 1. If I want to run a sequencer here on a third iPad, I can connect that to my iConnect MIDI 4 Plus using the DIN connectors. Plug one end into your iPad and the DIN plugs into the DIN ports on the front of the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. Once you've done this, you now have a way of controlling your other devices via a DIN-connected iPad. Now we have a completely connected iConnect MIDI 4 Plus.